in this video uh, we'll be discussing about relative purchasing power parity relative purchasing power parity says that the change in exchange rate is determined by the difference in inflation rates between the two countries an example will help you understand what this is let us suppose that the British pound per US dollar exchange rate is 0 0.50 pounds per US dollar. So that means one dollar can buy 0 0.50 or half a pound. Now, further suppose that the inflation rate in uh, Great Britain is predicted to be 10% over the coming year. So there is inflation of 10% in the UK next year and the projected inflation rate is zero in the United States. What do you think is going to ha happen to the exchange rate in the year? Okay guys, things are getting heated up in the UK. There's inflation, uh, there's an orange that was costing a dollar. Now those oranges, you know, are going to be more expensive things are getting more expensive in the UK because there, there is inflation goods or services that were costing 100 pounds are going to be increased by 10 percent because so we are assuming that uh, the, the dollar the cost of the dollar was 50 pounds you can see here the cost of the dollar over here this dollar was 50 pounds so now what's going to happen is uh, this, uh, this dollar is going to, this, this uh, pound is going to get more expensive. So a dollar used to cost half a pound. Now the same dollar is going to cost you 50, uh, 0.55 uh, pounds or, or 55 pence. So the same dollar the same dollar is going to cost you 55 pence because things are get expensive in UK. I told you the oranges were dollar, the oranges were uh, for a pence, and now uh, uh, the oranges sorry were for a pound. And now because we have inflation, the, the price of the pounds is going to go up. The price of everything is going to go up. So you got the basic idea. <laughs> but <clears throat> let's wait. But what if inflation is predicted to be 4% in the United States. So things are also going up uh, in the United States. Things are also getting very expensive in the United States. So what happens? Relative to prices in the United States, prices in Britain are rising at a rate of 6%. Because we have 4% interest rates in the US, 10% interest rates, 10% inflation rate in UK, we, the inflation in UK is only six percent. This is the this is the weight we're gonna feel. It's only increase because things are also expensive in uh, US. Things are also expensive in uh, things are more expensive in UK. But but this six percent will balance out. So so we'll be even at six percent. So relative to prices in US, prices in Britain are rising at a rate of only. 6% because we also have in, uh, inflation in the US. So the new exchange rate will be our original exchange rate times 1.06 which is the inflation. So give you 53 pence per dollar. So right now our dollar will get us 0.53. So the, the key thing to note in this lesson or in this mod in this video module is to understand if the currency is appreciating or depreciating the currency is appreciating so if there was if, let's see in this scenario so if there was if there was inflation in the UK and, and no inflation in the US, the, the pound increased. So with, with dollar one, you could buy 50 pence. 
but now with the same dollar you can buy 55 pence you'll get more you'll get more pounds for the same dollar so the dollar is appreciating it's good if you don't have inflation in us and you have inflation in uk you are much better off your currency is appreciating because with one dollar now you can buy 55 pence earlier in the uk with 50 pence you could you could buy a dollar but now to buy the same dollar when the inflation is by 10 percent you need 55 pence let me restate this let me uh, re-emphasize earlier with 50 earlier for 50 pence you could get a dollar but now you have to pay 55 cents to get a dollar that means your currency the pound has depreciated okay and and we can also look at it from a different uh, perspective or from a different point and you have to know this so anytime the real rate is your nominal rate minus the inflation rate so we can see from from this equation, this important equation, we can see from this equation that if you increase the inflation rate, if the inflation rate is high, the real rate that you're getting is, is decreasing at an increasing rate of inflation. If inflation goes up, the real rate of return, the real rate of return is decreasing. So what's happening is people would not invest in the United Kingdom because their real rate of return is going down. So they're not getting uh, the good value for the money. So, so, so they're going to start selling off uh, the pound and invest in some countries where there is low inflation and high interest rates so they can get more real rate of return. So what, what happens if they start selling the, the UK, uh, the, the pound? Well, if they start selling the pound, the pound, the pound is going to depreciate. So that's the whole idea. And I hope uh, you have learned something from this lecture. Thanks for watching.